with the Venom movie coming out next October. Now, of course, a lot of Spider-Man fans, including myself, really want to know, is Spider-Man, Peter Parker, or Tom Holland's Spider-Man actually going to be crossing over with Tom Hardy's Venom in the Venom movie? Everybody wants to see both of these characters on screen together, and everybody wants this new Venom to be a part of the MCU. Now, guys, if you want to hear more on my theory of how this actually could happen, make sure you guys definitely stay tuned. How's it going, Webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh, and before we get in this video, make sure you guys definitely subscribe to Webhead for more on the Venom movie and Spider-Man and the MCU going forward. Of course, make sure you guys definitely turn on that notification bell so you guys get to keep up to date with all my latest uploads. Of course, make sure you guys definitely smash that like button if you guys like this video. And of course, comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. Do you guys think that Spider-Man will actually cross over into the Venom movie? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear your opinions about this, but with all that out of the way, Let's get in the video, Webheads. So, of course, Venom is coming out next October. And, of course, personally, I am really looking forward to the first trailer of this. I just want to say that right off the bat. I actually think we're going to be getting the first trailer probably around, like, say, March or April time frame. That's when I think we're actually going to be getting the first trailer. And I don't think that Spider-Man is going to show up anywhere in that trailer. But I do think that he might have a possible role or cameo in the film. Now, there are a lot of people out there that believe that Tom Holland Spider-Man will not be in the Venom movie at all. They probably think that they're going to be separating the MCU from this rated R Venom universe. And then there's a lot of people out there that actually think that Spider-Man will be in the Venom movie and Tom Hardy's Venom actually will be connected with the MCU. And I personally am one of those people that actually do think that the Venom and Spider-Man movies will cross over. That Tom Holland Spider-Man actually will be in the Venom movie and we will see a cameo of Tom Holland within the Venom movie itself. Now, personally, Personally, why do I really think this is going to happen? Why would I actually think that it is possible for, for a Spider-Man cameo in the Venom movie? Well, obviously, just number one, Venom and Spider-Man are literally so connected in their history, it's not even funny. I mean, before Eddie Brock actually got the symbiote costume, Spider-Man had it first in the comic books. I mean, that's just kind of obvious right there. Of course, also, Venom literally just looks a lot like Spider-Man if you really look at him. He has a giant spider on him, so obviously that makes sense there. But of course, really getting into this with this entire Disney and Sony deal to really cross over Spider-Man from both the MCU and the Sony Spider-Verse. I personally think it'd just be kind of a waste not to have Spider-Man within the Venom movie. Of course, Venom is a huge character and I think that Kevin Feige and everybody that's involved with Marvel Studios really wants to get involved with this Venom character. Of course, Kevin Feige said many times before that the MCU is not complete without all of the Marvel characters and of course, he that definitely means all of Spider-Man's villains and other characters that Spider-Man actually is affiliated with that Sony owns. Also, I really want to bring up this one thing where it's actually going to be a definite that this is actually going to happen. Now that Disney owns Fox and they acquired the rights to, say, Deadpool, a lot of people saying that this isn't going to happen is because this new Venom movie is going to be rated R and the MCU and Disney doesn't want to be a part of anything rated R. Well, I completely disagree with that because, of course, Disney just bought Fox. Now they own Deadpool which is a rated R property and Bob Iger the CEO of Disney has come out and said that Deadpool is going to be remaining rated R and of course they want Deadpool to be in the MCU and of course they want to continue these Deadpool movies throughout the MCU and of course they want Ryan Reynolds back as Deadpool they don't want to cancel these movies at all so now that really opens up the door where now that they're going to be doing a rated R Venom now they definitely can put that rated R Venom with Deadpool and if they do that definitely a cameo is going to happen between this rated R Venom and the PG-13 Tom Holland Spider-Man. That is definitely a huge possibility to happen now. And I personally think this is a definite, I think they actually have plans for this. If we look back at last year, Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige were being interviewed in Spider-Man Homecoming. This is very old news, but this is something that I think is definitely going to happen. I think Amy Pascal actually kind of misspoke in the interview and actually gave away some spoilers for this. She basically said that Venom and Spider-Man are gonna be in the same universe. And of 
of course, if you look at really Kevin Feige's face, it looks like he's kind of surprised and not really surprised like, what are you talking about? I think he's more surprised like, why did you say that? Why did you just spoil that for all the fans? And of course, he did not deny anything. He didn't really say anything. But of course, Amy Pascal did come out later and say that she misspoke. She just said in the comp books, they were in the same universe. I completely disagree with that. I personally think that she actually is just trying to cover her own butt. Instead, I think she actually did mean this is actually a possibility and it actually will happen. I don't think Sony wants to keep any of these other characters away from the MCU because with Spider-Man connected with all of his villains and all the MCU connected with all these villains, you can only make more money. The MCU has consistently made more money, especially for the recent Spider-Man. The recent Spider-Man movie has made more money than almost any other Spider-Man movie that came out previously and actually revamped the character and everybody else was very excited for this, especially because he was connected with all of the other Marvel Universe. And of course, don't think Sony is stupid and doesn't know about this. They definitely know about it and definitely are like, you know what? We need to get all these villains over here into this new MCU with the new Tom Holland Spider-Man. We need them to cross over with one another. So I personally think that this is a definite guarantee actually going to happen. And I think everybody's going to be very surprised when we actually do see a Tom Holland cameo in the Venom movie. Now, of course, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys think this is possible at all? Do you think that Tom Holland Spider-Man actually will cross over with Venom in the Venom movie? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear your opinions on this. Make sure you guys definitely smash that like button. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, just like it on Spider-Man and Venom. Of course, make sure you guys definitely subscribe for more Spider-Man and Venom going forward. Of course, make sure you guys definitely turn on that notification bell so you guys get to keep up to date with all my latest uploads. And of course, make sure you guys definitely enter my Black Panther giveaway. All you got to be is a subscriber and comment below your thoughts. That's all you got to do to enter. So guys, make sure you guys definitely enter for that. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye. Alrighty, Webheads, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, make sure you guys definitely subscribe right over here to Webhead. I have plenty more videos coming out on Spider-Man and Venom going forward. Of course, make sure you guys definitely check out my social media links in the description below so you guys get to follow me on various social media networks. Of course, make sure you guys definitely check out the two videos below me. I think you guys would really, really enjoy. But thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.